Hey guys, so a few days ago I released a video demonstrating how to create this website using the Astra WordPress theme. And over the course of that video, I demonstrated setting up this homepage with a header that looks like this. It's a transparent header. And I also, during the course of that tutorial, set up a couple other pages where I imported some pre-built templates. However, the header styling is completely different and I just forgot to cover that in that tutorial. So a few of you have been asking me about that and it's a really good question and thankfully it's a really easy solution. Additionally, I don't know if you've noticed, but when you're in mobile mode, you can't see the logo. And it's not that it's not there, it's actually there, but it's a white logo on a white background. And there's a way to customize that logo for a mobile as well, and I'm going to show you that quickly as well. So I'm just going to go into the dashboard here. Um, just navigate yourself to the page where you want to update the header. So this one here, the consultancy page was the one where it was white. And for comparison purposes, I'll just show you the home page so you'll understand the differences. So this is the home page settings. And if I scroll down the right hand side and go to the transparent header section, for the home page that is set to enabled so that's good however for this page here this new one that we created with a new template the transparent header setting is set to the customizer setting so we want to click on enabled for that as well and hit update and now if we go and visit that page you may have to refresh your page, hit Control and F5 if it doesn't update, but now that's got the same style as the home page. And so if you set up any new pages, all you need to do is that one simple step, go into that page, edit page, and then change that header transparency to enabled. All right, now how do we change that logo on a mobile phone? Or a tablet. It took me a few minutes to figure this out and it wasn't so straightforward so let me show you how to do that. So if you go back into appearance and then go to customize and then click on layout then on header and the site identity you'll see here that the logo that you've uploaded is your desktop logo and you should be able to see that there. But what you need to do is then click on these two checkboxes over here. So you want a different logo for Retina devices such as tablets and you want a different logo for mobile devices. And now what you can do is select that logo to upload. And because on mobile we have a white background, we're going to upload a logo that is going to contrast against that. And for the purposes of the demonstration, I'm going to show you or prove to you that this logo is in no way related to these logos here when you load up your website on a retina or a mobile device. So let me select an image and upload a couple of logos from my computer. And I'm going to upload this one here just for the purposes of showing you how this logo and this logo is completely independent of each other based on the device that you're accessing the website from. So once you upload a logo for mobile, hit the publish button. Now, and then when I load the mobile site, you'll see that that logo is right over there. Now scratch that last part. I think the desktop is changing as well. So let me try remove the Retina logo. I'm not sure exactly why that's happening, but it shouldn't happen. Ah, there we go. I'm going to deselect that. So, guys, all you need to do is upload a logo for the mobile device right there, publish that, and then you'll notice that that logo takes effect on a mobile. And so what I've actually done is I have 
created a logo that is the same as my normal website logo, but in black. So what I'm going to do is just upload that one now. And there we are, that's uploaded. We can select that image, hit the publish button, and now we should be able to load our website. And if we put it in mobile mode, you'll be able to see this if you go to the URL webdemo2019.com on your mobile phone. But now you should see that logo appear there, the logo that we added for the mobile logo. So there we go. I hope that's helped you out. And on a side note, if you want to learn how to create this website right here, we've got a full tutorial that covers the entire build and I'll link to it in the description below. So anyway, there you go. Hopefully that helps some of you. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell because if we put out any more updates in the future, you'll be the first to know and it'll keep you all up to date.